Hi guys, I'm Shmi. It's a pretty overcast evening here in Hyde Park in central London, but tonight marks the start of the 2014 Where's Shmi Euro Tour. There is an epic adventure ahead of me and the McLaren 12C Shmi Mobile. We're travelling around Europe for the next 25 days, visiting all sorts of manufacturers, tuners, events, museums, venues, fan meets, all sorts, and all that information can be found on the Where's Shmi post on the Shmi150.com blog. There are going to be daily video diaries, more videos about everything we're getting up to, the events I'm going to, spring event, Cars and Coffee Torino, Top Marks Monaco, Pure McLaren at Spa, and everything coming on the Shmi150.com website, blogs daily, like I say, so make sure you keep tuned with what's going on. Tonight, Mishmi is joining us. We're jumping in the car, loading up the luggage, heading over to Belgium, to Bruges. So we're going to go and take the Euro Tunnel across the, to the continent and get on the way. But first up, like I say, I need to go and head home and put the luggage in the car. This is where it gets interesting then, the boot of the 12C. It's not small. You saw that I fit my friend Louis in there recently. But um, when I've put all my stuff in, it's not going to be uh, much room left. Unfortunately, I pack with soft bags. Okay, amusingly, I know the bags are basically the same colour as the car. I actually had the bags before the car, believe it or not. Um, <laughs> same colour, sorry, not the same colour, to fit in the R8. Um, also, obviously, for a trip like this, you need high-vis jackets, GB sticker, light stuff. You might not even use them, but you have to have them. Um, I'll dump those there for now. Sort that out in a bit. So, um, you do get this space up here. I know it's dark, but there's actually a load of room for bags up there, so if I pack the front a little bit better, it would all be fine. So there is actually room around the front, a bit more stuff down there, big gaps. We'll manage, always do, but uh, it's half the fun with a car like this. But I need to um, jump in and go. of London. You guys might remember Mishmi, my girlfriend. Hi. We did the video driving to Paris on a snowy weekend last February. Well, today, obviously, we're on the way to Bruges and... Um, Already hit traffic, which doesn't look good. Yeah, pretty standard. Fortunately, budgeted for a late Euro tunnel over, but um, I think this is going to be a frustrating journey out. And because we've been stuck in traffic, we're only two miles from home and all the snacks we brought, we've eaten. <laughs> Typical. You might have seen I had the new Iris 2 navigation system installed in the McLaren the other day and seeing as we're sitting in traffic this seems as good a time as any to test it out. I haven't actually used it um, to try and get anywhere really yet because I basically know where I'm going, especially going to the Euro Tunnel. But if we just have a quick look at this, I'm going to have a go at setting the navigation system to the Euro Tunnel and basically seeing from a complete newbie perspective whether I can work it out. So uh, let me go settings. I'm going to press destination, but I'm just going to cover up the addresses. Nothing personal to you guys, just um, seemed only fair not to show my friend's houses that I've set it to. So um, let's do a custom search in a town. Folkestone is where we're going, so let's put in the town of Folk. There we go, it's picked it up. That's neat. Folkestone. Um, so, now we have a list of stuff. What do you think it comes under? Transport I'm going to go with. Um, list all places in transport. Red light. Okay, this isn't bad. We've got a whole bunch of options, and right there is one that says Folkestone Channel Tunnel. That's probably right. Well, that was easy. Um, I think it calculates quite quickly compared to some navs. Um, so from here, it's an hour and a quarter, 65 miles. That route looks about right, out of London, through the southeast of London to the tunnel entrance of Folkestone. So let's go. Very long 
long queue of lorries taking the Eurotunnel tonight, but fortunately cars get to skip straight past that. Um, if you're the one at the back, you're probably a little bit fed up. Imagine if there wasn't a queue. Separate queue for both. That would be immensely frustrating, but lorries go in a different part of the truck. Oh. Train, I mean. <laughs> After 300 yards, keep right. Thank you. She's very polite, isn't she? Keep right. We arrived at the Eurotunnel and um, we were a little bit late for our train, but we fortunately sorted that out. Came back out to the car and there are a whole lot of people. Some Dutch guys who were actually going to the Netherlands. Uh, we're all checking out the car. So I'm going to jump in and give it a little rev for them. Surprise! Now it's time for some dinner. Burger King. We're just reaching the entrance of the train now. With the earlier booking, normally I go for the wide bit because a car like this, um, you don't want to curb the wheels. Unfortunately, it's all very, very busy tonight, and we're having to go in the normal car bit. I'm not going to lie, but I'm a little bit worried about quite how narrow this is going to be. videos actually to be honest fortunately the uh, wing door didn't hit the wall there I should have uh, probably been a little bit more careful but if I just hop out you can see we have about this much room on both sides of the car and the last thing I want to do is curb my wheels so now we're on the Euro tunnel we have about um, 40 30, 35 minutes 30 minutes on the train and then we are driving on the other side of the road and we'll have to stop and do a quick fill up display how it shows you the turnings that's quite nice seems to be accurate from the ones I've seen this is the first turning we've got in France you can see the destination towards Bruges France was the second country on our tour as you can see here there is the sign for Belgium country number three of ten here we are we've arrived in Bruges if I just spin the camera around Belgian number plates, cobbled roads. This car came up the road very neatly. I want to show one thing though, which is this. We've been in the car for an hour driving through France and Belgium and 27.1 uh, miles per gallon. You go find me another supercar with over 600 horsepower that can manage a figure like that. Average speed isn't exactly slow. 130 limit in France and then 120 in Belgium. So uh, yeah, time I suppose I should shut the car off, go check into our hotel and uh, get ready for tomorrow because tomorrow is another another day of the adventure we're going to Amsterdam so uh, we're gonna have a look around Bruges first myself and Mishmi then we're gonna go over to Amsterdam it's only a couple of hours from here check out the town and then at six o'clock in the evening we've arranged a fan meet so uh, that's gonna be fun to see how many people turn up in the Netherlands but that's it for today thank you very much for watching make sure you subscribe and check out all of the other where Shmi adventures I'll catch up with you again soon cheers a little bit about where I'm going to be and when so that I can meet you guys, you can come along, see the car.